Welcome to the Elegant Eight Adventure Sagas. Let's get ready to rumble. Whatever. All right. <clears throat> I'm assuming my voice worked at that time or no? Or did I just, I just sounded like a tool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. That's, that's awesome. That's just. We, we still love you, Tom. <laughs> that's just amazing. <laughs> so nothing, you heard nothing? Well, we heard your voice, but <laughs> was I? Did I have an echoey voice when I was doing the narr narration? <laughs> what? I think. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Well, maybe it came through on the recording, just not on our side, since we're part of the recording. Maybe I don't know. I'm being... Well, I I managed to lock up my computer. Uh oh. These guys need to fix their stuff. I can't turn off here myself. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, bad. Talk amongst yourselves. I will be right back. Okay. Well, how is every little thing? That good? Well, or, yeah, we can hear you. Well. So it says Mark can't hear the sounds. Uh oh, I hear myself again. I am back. Why is I'm it saying Mark can't hear the sounds? It says si Sirenscape. Mark will hear the sounds out of sync with other players. Oh, I have to Why? restart it. Oh, I do I need to restart? No, I need to restart it. I need to. So uh -huh. if I start the sounds before you you join, I guess maybe it does something wonky. So let me just stop and hit play. It's easy. Enough. It'll, you're gonna hear some weird battle sounds though. I should have done it. Now you hear all sorts of weirdness. And horrible music. Turn that off. Alright, I need to get this stuff back. Alright, I think now that that failed experiment uh, happened, I shan't, I shan't try to do the sounds anymore. That's just... Uh, A bummer. All right. The effects, <clears throat> you mean? What's that? The effects, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I, like they worked great for a while, and yeah. suddenly now, like every time I click a button, it just locks my computer up. So that's really. They said weird. they're working on it, but you know, they find working on it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's I think so. You guys can hear me, and you, you guys say something so I can make sure I got your. You guys going through the pipes? Hello, he... this is Nick. Nick, that worked perfectly. Thank you, Nicholas. Hello, this is Steven. I think you guys meant, uh, you think you meant it was Skylar. Oh, Skylar. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. One of the sound effects in this sound set is called Leaf on the Wind, which is super sad because that's, uh, that's in from the Firefly movie where he died. Uh, I liked him. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. Firefly gets canceled. In this 15 <clears throat> year old yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I'm not going to try to do voices. Let me just uh, catch you guys up to where we left off. So last time, um, the E8, you know, you guys had met with the Druid and you headed east from the Druid's home and you were making your way uh, to an area in which the cultists have been known to be. Um, of course. About 50 feet into your journey, Skylar stormed into an old farmhouse and alerted a bunch of blights. Um, you all ran away. Uh, you only drew about three blights out in the process, realizing uh, that you know you were still legit in front of the druid's home. Uh, they called upon the druid for aid, and the aid came out and said, "Yo, blights, back off. It was all good." Um, 
wavering between a little bit of confusion and disappointment, <laughs> Rita oh ran, ran interference for you guys. Um, and you guys changed your plans to follow the path uh, to the north and then the east. Um, alas, you ran into some spiders. Uh, you found yourself blocked by many webs and two giant spiders and two itty bitty house spiders that bit your ankles. Um, Karen raged out and scored some major hits. Um, out of nowhere, oh, all these typos when I texted it to you guys. Um, out of nowhere, Noodle, the supposed healer, got her clobber on and kicked some serious spider ass. Um, and while the spiders were defeated, uh, Karen took some hard hits from one of the spiders and found herself poisoned and paralyzed. Um, you drug her body into an old abandoned store and you decided to take a long rest. And while the evening was largely uneventful, uh, Fabia was standing watch and she was alerted to something seemed to be watching the group, likely a dragon cultist. You all woke up refreshed, um, realizing that you guys had made it about 50 to 60 feet as the crow flies, um, and you have many more feet to go. So this finds you in the store. Verify your goodness and make sure that you have all your hit points, all your spell slots. Um, you should have the uh, prepared your spells for the day. For those playing along, go to your actions tab and make sure that you do that. Um, you're going to notice um, maybe some oddity, some oddness in some of the um, the windows or the extensions. Uh, this may, this update broke a bunch of extensions, so I disabled some of them. Um, the good news is the core extensions we use are still here. So yeah, got this going for us. So is everyone? If someone gives me the green light. That would be fantastic. Nick, um, you need to... Yeah, no, I was, it's for some reason that that particular thing is highlighted and it's a different color from all the other ones. I don't know if it's because of what it is or... or what, what, what's but... that? Disarm? Yeah, disarm. I was just clicking it to make sure that it was dis like not activated. <clears throat> yeah, so go ahead and choose, choose which ones you're going to have activated. I've never done this before. So what do you do? You put put a little you change the number to 1 or something or how does that work? Oh, how do you make Oh, I'm I'm not sure. I was just I noticed that it was different from all the other general uh generic actions. So I was just making sure that it wasn't like activated. Um I um I yeah, wasn't you... actually trying to select it or anything. Oh, so you oh, you choose the little dot. So you have to go in through and choose whatever um spells you want to have access to this time. Oh, right. I see. Okay. Yeah, you get four. So you aren't you aren't around the team yet, but you, so you can do this on the side. You get four um, first levels. Yeah, four first level slots and three. Um, or, yeah, three second level slots. Um, okay. And Mark, you played. Uh, I'm sorry, Cyrus. You played Noodles' character last time. Did you did you hook her up before you left, or does that? Um... I did not. So. How do I do it? I've never done it before. Okay. Let me go into Noodle. And mm. actions. And yeah. so we'll go into um, okay, cool. preparation and mode. I just clicked you in the preparation mode. So where it says mode preparation. Oh, right. down at the right. bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now if you scroll down, there's little dots. Yeah. So you get. Three of them are, are there for level yeah. one. So you get, um, what level are you right now? You're level four? Three? Um, Let me look at your main tab. Yeah. You're level four. You're a level four cleric. Yeah. There it is. Which means that you get, as a level four, you get four first level slots and three second level slots, like Nick. So um, any casters out there want to explain how many she can choose, that sort of a thing? I hit stuff with sword. Because you can only... How many can you prepare? I don't um, think that clerics prepare spells. I think that's only that's only wizard stuff. But... Yeah, wizard and sorcerer stuff. Okay, yeah. so then... So she could really enable all of hers. She can only use a couple of them, right? Exactly. You can yeah. only use as many of your... You know, as you have okay. slots. Like the, yeah, the, uh, the, it, the levels... The, the spell slot per level still stands. But yeah, she... Uh, yeah, she because uh, okay. I think that's just a general casting rule. 
All right. Yep. So, so Noodle, I went ahead and checked all of your spells. Yeah. So you have access to everything. Then you click the Good. mode. Now, go down to mode and hit um yeah. hit to go back into combat. Mode. Mode, as in Depeche. Mode. <laughs> So I'm excited for you guys to see my new action icons I've created. Ooh. I created four new sets of action icons for the chat window. And three font families to change the colors. And I thought, honestly, no one would care. But within the first uh, three hours, like 125 people had grabbed it. So, Yeah. Ooh. I should have right charged on. money for it. No. I give back for free. All right, so, so just everybody make, good? Yeah, just to make sure I I heard this correctly. So I have to choose between whether or not little Zippy is rolling initiative during combat. Oh yeah, or let me give you the lay of the land. Rolling. Yeah. All right, so here's here's how this works now. Two things have happened. Well, for one, mm -hmm. you were were you here for the reloading of ammo? Yes. Yes, okay. I was. Cool. So guys, don't forget to do that. If while you while I'm explaining this to Nick, um you guys go ahead and reload your ammo if you need to. So that's okay. a thing that you need to this, do. This Don't will forget. be, I'm, I'll actually be putting this knowledge to use. I haven't needed to use it because I don't, I don't have anything that fires anything. Okay. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick doesn't. So you, uh, you will I for may, Fabia. Yeah, so I what, definitely will for Fabia. So just a reminder, you go through and you hit the little um, magnifying glass. First, you try to find whatever percentage of your, of your arrows and stuff you can. And then when that's so done, you go and get glass reload. on my longbow, correct? In yeah. uh, actions? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and you do and that, and then there's like a reclaim arrow thing. And it's like okay, a little plus, so like there's... a little click plus to recover ammo. Mm, okay, not that. So. And and like, like I'm looking at yours, Nick. You don't have any. But Favia, mm -hmm. she may have already right done here. it. Does she have, so is it under, do I have to select preparation or? Oh, no, no, no. Go I, to actions. Yeah. Actions mm -hmm. tab. Okay. Yep. And then yep. it's a top where it says um, longbow. Mm -hmm. See the little magnifying glass? Mm. Oh, yeah. At the very end by the link. Yep. Click it. Okay. And you see where it says arrows, 75% of six shots. Hit the plus. Yeah. Ah, I see. Okay. So hit right. plus. Yep. Okay, so that so I you recovered. hit the plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool. I recovered four pieces of ammunition added to inventory. Awesome, and then. Um, but I have to move those fifty-four. Do I have to move those fifty-four shots to? Guys, did, uh, did something change? Wasn't there dots for ammo before? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah there, there was. There's not anymore. Yeah. No, there isn't. There's just this. What is this thing now? If I click on it, I or maybe click. maybe because she has fifty-four, there's they after a certain number they stop doing dots and put I don't know. Nope, no? there are no dots anymore. I liked the dots. I thought that was really telling. Yeah. I'll look into seeing what's going on with that. But anyway, you've reclaimed your yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so the next so the next thing is, um, at the top of every round, um, we reroll initiative for the whole thing. Right. And the, right. the reason for this is that um. It, it keeps it interesting, right? So yeah. instead of knowing, like, the monster's, like, always the second person to go, and then we'll kill everyone below it. Um, and, hold, hold on one second. I'm being summoned. I thought it was funny because of the background he has. It's like he's looking down the hallway. It's like, what? Oh, there's a <laughs> goblin coming after me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, um, yeah, so when you re-roll, when you re-roll, it's awesome um, because then it restacks and it, and it keeps right. things interesting. For instance, you know, your healer may have been at the end the last round, but at this round, they're at the top. So they can suddenly right. heal or the vice versa. Right. You, you know, you yeah. could end up with a, a paralyzed Karen on your hands. Um, and <laughs> then the last wait where he was at the top of the round. Now he's at the bottom of the round and he's got to wait. Yeah. And but it's just for that round and then it restacks right. again. All right. Oh, that's so nice. okay, the cool. last thing is that um, uh, because because of little Zippy is is not um, a character, it's uh, an extension of Fabia. Right. Um, it's a it's a, like a familiar. Um, yeah. It shares the turn. So no matter like when you we re reroll initiative, Zippy gets whatever Fabia's initiative. Is, so we make it the same. And then on Fabia's turn, she can choose to go, or Zippy can turn to go choose to go, but not both. However. Okay. 
I do let them both move. Okay. Now, how does that work with, say, she has? Uh, does all of like the the like the timing apply? Like, say she like say little Zippy has, say she rages. So does that? Uh, I'm trying to think of an example of like how that how the change would affect. If 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 Fabia doesn't leverage that rage on that round, then she doesn't mm-hmm. leverage that range. The rounds are the rounds. Okay. Okay. Yep. All Which right. is that's a good question. That's a, that, no one had mentioned that before, but that's a good question. Yeah. All I'm right. just I'm I'm trying to think of like if if she decide if she's decided to use Zippy, would it be? She could potentially put herself in a situation to where she needs to use Zippy again, because of potential moves or certain yeah. situations that she may have put herself in. Yeah, this really only applies to combat, by the way. We, otherwise, right. little Zippy moves normally. All right, I you're all it. caught up. Okay. Um, you're playing Fabia and and the Zipmeister, um, and it's pretty cool to see this, this this entire top row of my computer stacked out with your your portraits again. It's nice to see everybody. <laughs> it's um, nice to see you guys too. I, I, to I, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm missing Tato a little bit, but uh, maybe someday she'll yeah. come back from. She's at university right now. In case oh you wow! Didn't know that. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Pobler. Yeah, yeah. Pobler you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah ex- what, wait, what? Pobler you. Awesome. All right, guys. So <laughs> you're in this. You're you're in this. What appears to be an old store. Um, you didn't do much investigating. You guys kind of came in, um, knocked uh, knocked some some webs out of the way, um, made Karen comfortable as as much as you can make Karen comfortable, and uh, uh, sort of spent the night just healing up and feeling better. And again, if you were to zoom out on your map, I don't know what your view sign is like. Literally, the Druid's home is right to the left, right there, right, right, just to the west. Um, I think to Cyrus's point, um, there was a tough call, like stay the night there or make your way back. But dragging, you know, dragging this, you know, um, Karen all the way back, you know, you never knew what you were going to hit. So you guys are here. It's a new day. Um, You've been brought up to speed. I'm Mm going to defer to you guys. What do we do? All right. I know what I'm going to (laughs) do. Good call. Good call indeed. It's an old-fashioned kind of night. Mm. All right, so So, Cyrus, you're the leader, so I'm going to ask you. (laughs) Well, I'm going to... So first first and foremost, so so the, the thing that we're thinking about doing is we, we want to see if we can chase the dragon off um i i i don't want us to like i i think attacking him would probably be like a, a party kill yeah um so i i don't think an attack is would be smart <laughs> um i believe i believe that you guys did a um roll a nature check cyrus who me yeah i'm a ranger Oh, shoot. It dumped out all of my saved actions. Yeah, I noticed that, too, for me. Oh, at the bottom? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I noticed oh, that. Oh, Nick, too. by the way, you can drag commands down to those little, that bar at the bottom. No one knew that. That was a thing last. That Which bar? 20. Awesome. So, yeah, so, sorry, just a, a, a reminder. You know, you hear some of this from the druid. You know, you know that, you know, a dragon, a dragon gets 16 D10 plus 48. Hit points. Oh my god. So, you know, roughly 110 to 150 hit points. Now, you guys, you know, you guys are strong. You guys, between you, Karen's got 50. I mean, it's not like you're, you know, if you wouldn't want to take on more than one, but, um, you know, sort of your, your nature sense says you can probably, through very strategic planned action, you know, um, take this dragon on. Um, but, you know, you better have some serious gold saved up because you're going to probably have to resurrect one or two of you. Now, we are getting near Easter, so it's, it is the time for resurrection. <laughs> Let's fight the dragon! Blasphemer! <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and, and what else? Um, you know, just to remind you a little bit more about dragons... Um, they are, they love subverting and corrupting the good hearted. Mm. 
right? Um, they're they're just thoroughly evil, right? Because uh, this is a green dragon, right? Um, they love to dwell in ancient forests and near water, and this is the key. There's not a lot of water where you guys are. Um, they love to be near water, in case that was you know, because you missed out on that. Um, and Eek. As every as every badass uh, you've come across, uh, they have multi attack, so it isn't yeah. like ooh I dodged his talon, you know. <laughs> they, there's going to be a whole plethora of things coming at you guys. Yeah. All right. Mm. So here's where you are. Um, okay. So, um, so what we were trying to what I've been trying to to think about and see if anyone has has any interesting ideas here. So. I was hoping that we could just convince the dragon to leave on his own. Um, either because, one, that he flew flew out here after getting his ass kicked by something. Probably other dragons. So that's one, one thing to know. Um, and um, he's, like, you know, young and cocky, uh, but also probably afraid. And there's no water there. So I was hoping that we could, like like direct his wrath at the cultists somehow like convince him know. that the cultists were were going to like kill him um but i don't know does anyone have any ideas there i, I think i like that idea of like convincing him but if we convince him do, do we lose the um opportunity of surprise like can we sneak up and then like bash him with the rock um, I, so I'm not going. <laughs> if we're gonna try, if if we're going to attack him, yeah, yeah. Fearless leader. I uh, I, I I like the plan. I think um, we might get some good intel by talking to the uh, the 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 dragon fan club first. Okay. Like that might give us an insight on how to. Like a little more insight on the dragon and why he's here, and a little more insight on how to like get leverage with the dragon against the the fanboys. So, how, like, what under under what pretense should we get in touch with these guys? Um, I think we had a, a, a like some notion that they were uh, watching us already. Yeah. Um. So we could yeah. be like, uh, yeah. hey. So you know, while you did your speech. long rest, um, while you did your long rest, Fabia, you know, Fabia spotted um, or picked up on someone that was was watching you guys. So her, she surmised it was the the cultist, but she didn't see and didn't investigate. So you guys gonna hang for another long rest or? Uh... No, let's. I don't know. Let's let's go. Let's go find the cultists. Yeah. We're all healed up anyway, so let's do it. Yeah. Awesome. And whilst we're walking, um, is that all we know about the cultists? Is that they, they're they want, like the dragon cultists. That's it. Yeah, and they want to like ingratiate themselves with the dragon, but but as far as we know, they haven't really approached approached it yet. Yeah. Can we been... tell them that we're going to, you know, kind of help them do that or that we want to also, like, we could lie to them about it to like, see hey, them? Hey, we're really into dragons, too. Yeah. <laughs> Checking my dragon tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have any dragon gear to put on? Um, yeah, so I think, um, yeah, that was, it's like spot on, Mark, or uh, sorry, spot on, Cyrus. That's the uh, that's the old fashioned talking. Um, <laughs> the uh, yeah, the cultists haven't made a move yet. They've been you know they've been investigating. They're they're trying to get in good. That was what you guys learned from Drew. They're trying to get in good with the sort of the leadership. Um, you know, this may be a ragtag group trying to sort of prove themselves. Uh, you know, maybe some some young cocky cultist boys that uh, you know sort of wagging their stuff around trying to trying to be noticed. So. Um, and I, I would kind of like to like tell the dragon that the the cultists are going to try to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Right. So look, so looking around, you have um, you you can go out the way you came in, which was a you know follows that path, right? You know, it's at least that bit spider free. 
Um, there's some broken bits of wall to the south. Um, back to the east towards the druid's home, you see another bit of wall broken out. Um, like to the east? I'm sorry, to the west. Um, and then to the east, uh, to the east, um, in the north, the northeast corner of the uh, of, of this old store, um, is another sort of escape route um, that leads back mm. to that same road. Now, Karen, can we can we seeing... do a quick search before yeah. we leave? Absolutely. Um, before you do that, so Karen, what you see from where you're standing is sort of through that broken, you know, wall and through that, uh, you, you can see that there's another building um, just beyond this building, right? And everything else is obscured by shrubs. Um, I think also Zippy oh. could see it. Yeah, pretty much just Karen That's and, uh, and Zippy. Um, so go ahead and um, if you guys want to do, uh, uh, are, you, are you looking to search the building or are you looking to know what's going on? Search. Well, I'm gonna let's let's search the building real quick. All right, then roll me uh, an investigation check. I'm gonna go ahead and investigate this old fashioned. Anyone else wanna? Ooh, I rolled a twenty. Critical old fashioned. There we go. Nice. Anyone else rolling investigation? For those who haven't played in a while, it's on your skills tab. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. I'm going to drag like a... that down to my... It's in abilities. Jeez. Wait, it's in abilities. It's in it's, it's, it should be in skills. Skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Why, why, is it, why are everybody's rolls Jesus. minus one? Oh, never mind. Because I'm stupid. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were like three in a row, which... It seemed like more than coincidence, but okay. So we got Bing, we got Skylar, we got Noodle, we got Fabia. Um, we don't have um, Zippy. You got to double click oh, yeah. Zippy to roll for Zippy. Yep. We have a 17. Do we need to roll anymore? No. Okay. Not really. So you guys are oh. sort of scrounging around, cutting away the webbing. Um, and. Um... Oh, here comes something. Yeah, Zippy didn't help yeah, anyway. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, so you guys investigate this place. You 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 move some bit around um, under some webbing. You find the unfortunate like adventurer that's cocooned in spider silk. Um, it's shriveled up and sucked dry. Um, but it appears to be a male elf. Um. It looks like he's wearing some studded leather armor, a short sword, and a scabbard as a hip. Um, you search his corpse who does that um, Skylar um, what you find Ooh. is you know in he's holding a, a potion of healing a short sword and that studded leather so would you like me to add that to your inventory or the party inventory uh, party inventory is fine I, should I check it for magical properties Thomas uh, do you have that as, is that an innate skill or do you need to roll something for that i don't know i don't think it's innate so you want to do an arcana check go ahead and roll arcana i'm so confused by this new all this new stuff it's it's everything's not what i expect hey, yes help me out with this so there's like um <laughs> there there ain't no magics happening here <laughs> All right, let's let's get on our way then. All right, let me add this right. to your inventory. Uh, okay. Add that. Let's get on out. And add this. All right, you have been loot. You have looted. All righty. So, which way are you heading? Take it later. Whoever's they, leading, lead. Were they to the, what, southeast? Was that, do I remember that correctly? Um, from where you, yeah, so it'd be the, it'd be sort of the southeast. Um, yeah. the, and, and the druid mentioned the southeast goes through a bunch of um, abandoned buildings. Um, the, the road. Um, yeah, we'll just go on the road. About. All right. Actually, do, do you want me to just just like move myself, and we'll assume the whole party's moving? Yep. 
Well, I mean, unless you guys are rolling stealth. No. We, we suck at stealth. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're... So, yeah, so the other thing, you know, the other thing, just to remind Nick, because he's not been here in a while. Um, okay, let me catch the party up to you. Um, Zippy also can be used as a scout. Ah, okay. okay hold on, where's the selector? Invisible, though. Go invisible. Give me one second. Shortcut. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Mask. Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, that's under her in... Uh, yeah, there it is. Is it considered... Oh, it's considered an action. Wow. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. I'm... I can't remember my hotkey for group select. What the hell? Drawing. Minimize. Close window. Pointers. Whatever. I'll just drag you one at a time. It's slow, but it works. All right, so you're back out to where the you fought the spiders. You see some spider corpses. Um, the dew glistening on their hairy ass legs. All right, Mister Mister uh, Mister Bing, make your move. Um, to the left is the path that you know leads to something big, which you now know is a dragon. Yep. Um, to the east, you see the 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 path has slightly uh, slightly northeast and then does a a sharp cut to the to the uh, south boom bring everyone along for the ride bloop, bloop. man this interface they have changed everything <laughs> whoa for the for the better or i'm sure it's i'm honestly i'm sure it's for the better supposedly it's faster and more stable uses less memory less crashy that sort of thing uh, but okay. like, but there used to be, I used to have a button that said, um, I could go into select mode. So I could just draw a box around the entire party and drag them around. And I can't seem to find that. Weird. Um, so do we see anything, anything of interest? Um, visually what you see is, uh, to the South, you see another abandoned building. You are not exactly sure what this building is. Oh, man, I managed to turn. Hold on. There we go. Oh, my <laughs> my tool parts just showed back up. I don't know what just happened. Um, you see what looks like um, it might have been some sort of a, a maybe a, a, a shop, a pocketary herbalist. You aren't quite sure. That's off to the southeast. Um, to the south just beyond the building you were in it's you know there's another building you can't tell from where you're standing what it is um looking up northeast um you see uh what looks to be some sort of an abandoned town square uh, flanked with a building to the uh to the west and to the east beyond that town square looks to be uh, a fairly substantial building you feel yeah. like that's where they are. And is that line of sight still working? Are you guys, is that working for you guys yes. still? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. good. I didn't know if that broke because I had to redo all the line of sight stuff as well. So as long as as long as nothing eventful is going on, I'm just gonna keep we'll we'll just keep on going south. Awesome. Um does this building to our southwest here Okay, hold on. Look, have any interest? Let me catch everyone up to you and see what's happened thus far. Because mm. you guys have just been doing sort of passive what do I see stuffs, not yep. specifically stop and figure things out. Um yeah, so any of the as you pass that shop to the to the east. Um, mm -hmm. It indeed looks like it, it was probably an herbalist shop. You see some old herbs hanging in the, you know, in the ruins. Um, yes, to all. You know, this ruined shop is cluttered with sagging storage shelves and broken furniture. Shards of glass and pieces of pottery glint the weeds and the rubble next to rotted books and casks. Nice so that's the, by the way. Thank you. They just, I forgot to turn them on. Um, but then down to the south, uh, so you sort of see peeking through the broken the broken wall. It looks like it's probably an old Smithy's uh, building. Um, just off off to the east, 
southeast, if you follow the path around. Um, it's a building that's in such disrepair, it's hard to tell what it was. If you want to know anything else, you're going to have to roll some perception. Um, I don't know. Do we want... Uh... Yes? Not, yeah, we want to... I got my fast button for perception. So you want to roll... Yeah, let's do a quick perception just to see if we hear anything going on. A button doesn't work. What the hell? <laughs> I you perceive drag, nothing. You drag the chain right to it? Oh. Yeah. I, I, I drag the, the die. Down oh, yeah, the... drag the die. My bad. Yeah, drag the die. Otherwise, it's just going to tell you about perception. That's exactly what it did. Yes. All right, you guys can stop rolling. Karen already nailed it. Um, so the yeah. herbalist, yeah, the, the, the herbalist shop um, is silent. It actually smells good. Um, you smell um, the dried herbs. Um, it takes you back to the Olive Garden. Um, back in Florida. The Garden of Olives. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's right. It's down the street from Bed, you know, Bloodbath and Beyond. Yes. Um, uh, next, and... Also next to White Castle, which didn't even have to change the name. Um, but Karen, down to the south, you know, the southwest, um, you hear some, you hear some scuttering. And um, this isn't the first time that you've heard scuttering like this since you've gotten a thunder tree. Um, your spidey sense says there's a couple of ash zombies. Um, you aren't sure how many, but there's something going on in that in, in that home. Um, as of right now, they've not been alerted to your presence. What do you guys think? Do we want to take them out, or do we want to uh, just kind of walk along? What are they? You think they're ash zombies. So they're okay. So we encountered these guys before. Yeah. It's basically, like the first time you hit them, they kind of explode with. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind In of that one building. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. think of a reason to tangle with them unless we have to. Um, yeah, yeah. We we're on a mission. We got shit. To we're do. on a mission from God. 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 Um. So can we send Zippy out at this point? Yeah. Cool. Wow. So where, am where do you I, want to send where... Zippy? Or is Zippy heading um, Herbalist? Is it heading to the where you think the Ash Zombies might be, or neither? Building... Neither beyond 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 that. And I so uh, beyond Thunderdome. Oh, can I draw draw here? You sure should be able to draw ring mode. So I was thinking. Go... Hello, Simon. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Glad you caught that. <laughs> I was thinking about going this way. Okay. Oh, to that, to the big building? Yeah, I have a feeling that's where they are. All right. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. All right. In Vs. So, yeah, so send, so, um... I should hey, how it. about that effects icon, guys? I know, right? That's fantastic. <laughs> One effects icon. What? In the chat window. So that was your action, by the way. Um, oh, you're oh that! Yes, yeah, so, so so Zippy's invisible, and thank you for making him invisible. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, you know he's invisible, but don't forget he's not silent. So what oh, I need yeah. to know from you is how high is he flying? Okay. And um, move him in increments of twenty. Increments of twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah. And tell me that. Tell me his elevation at each moment. At each at each hmm. drop. Hmm. Okay. And and look, if you're you're Fabia, you know that too low, yeah. and things can hear him fluttering. Right. Too high, and he could potentially be spotted. Wait, oh. he's invisible, so he yeah. cannot be spotted. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! Uh, Zippy's <laughs> always harsh in my buzz. <laughs> Y'all know I, like... I was gonna wait for Zippy to trigger the Ash Zombies, right? I mean, like yeah. no one's no one's kidding themselves here, right? All right. So, uh, so let me so ask screw you this, it, David. Unless you unless you're gonna fly super low, just move him to where you want him to be. Okay. Yeah, he's probably gonna be flying about 10, 10, 11 feet above. Yeah, the ground. he could he yeah. can fly. Okay, ten or eleven feet. Um, yeah. that means that it that yeah. 
I'm not. No. C- Cyrus, you can use your words. Higher. Higher. <laughs> Higher? Okay. So. Um, 20. Thir- 20. Okay. 20 feet. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me roll something real quick. Wait a minute. Why do I have a manual dice entry? Hold on. That's not good. Oh, that's never a good sign. Oh no, it's all good. So depending on your depending on your height, you have to I have to roll to see what's happening. Mm. Uh, manual dice rolls, turn them off. Not high enough that the giants who are watching us will hear little Zeppy. Ooh, giants! I hadn't thought about throwing giants at you guys. Um, all right, so let me roll my dice into the dice tower. Oh yeah! All right. Move him, move him is 40, up to 40 feet. Okay. So there's 20. All right. So I'm going to roll. So how's, here's what it's going to be. So you're at, you're roughly, you said 20 feet in the air, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. unless I roll an 18 at each of these stops, you're good to go. And I mean, honestly, like it's a 20 sided die. So like it's odds are in your favor. 18 or higher. You're good to go. Mm. Move okay, your next. Another... You can move up to forty feet. Don't forget, like you know, yep. use your time wisely. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make you roll every time you stop. So I'm gonna go there. All right. Let me grab my die. Drop it in the old chat window. Alas, you did not attract the ash zombies. Now, as Zippy flew by, um, he did identify that. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Hold on. Old Smitty. It looks like... So, um, what Fabia sort of gets back is that um, there's roughly five ash zombies in that in that building. So, Karen had heard at least two of them. It seems that like there's at least three more. At least from what he saw. So, you know, he relays this information back to Fabia... Uh, whether Fabia shares that with the rest of the party is up to her. Um, although, you know, um, Zippy suggests that maybe the team steers very clear of making noise near that building. All right. And which, uh, just to make sure, which build is it the large building that we that was in question at the... the... To, to the left. To the left. That one. Oh, that yep. one. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, this is the herbalist. Mm-hmm. And this is the zombies. Okay. So steer clear of that. Can we go the other direction? Like off the trail? I mean, you can have Zippy fly wherever you guys want him to. We can cut the corner close to the herbalist, but I, again, like, I think, I think the action is probably going to be down here. Let's go to the action. That's what Cliff is saying. Or is that... Oh, no, done there? Cyrus. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Cyrus. Mm-hmm. Unless somebody trips on a cobblestone or a twig. Well, or something. we can wait for Zippy, right? Yeah, you guys can stand You guys can stand there to your heart's content and send Zippy wherever the hell you want. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she can command him up to... What was it? 120 feet or something like that? Yeah. Do it. How do you draw? Is there... A pencil? There's a on drawing mode. I see it. Yep. So, what about going up this way? I know that's a black line, but <laughs> well, there's, there's, as far as we know, there's nothing at the herbalist. Okay. Yeah, no, there's, I... there's, you, you guys did a perception roll. There's nothing at the herbalist. You've not investigated yeah. it, but there's nothing, nothing mm-hmm, in the yeah. jump out and get you. Um, you do know that if you go that way, just from visual, like it's rough terrain, you're gonna move about half as half your speed. Mm. Right, it's like full Let of get bramble and brush. Yeah, go go find the cultists. Pretty okay. powerful guys. We don't have to be too timid. All I'm right. hearing somebody wants to fight some ash zombies. No. No, we can just like walk regularly, like just you know. Walk this way. Skirt the way. Okay. So you or, want me or to we can just like continue just, on to that building? Yeah, we can just okay. you know go on this way there's you know a decent amount of space there it's not like we're gonna be okay so you said move in increments of 20 correct yeah for one more move and then you're good to go 
Okay. So I'm gonna move right here. All right. Let me roll. This one's gonna have to be a 19 because you've gotten far enough away. It's fairly unlikely, but there's always that one chance. Oh, thank Christ. All right, so you're good to go. So, so as far as Zippy's concerned, he's not attracted the um, the zombies. Mm-hmm. Um, also, he sees that it's sort of rough going because uh, he can see over the wall of that building where the path leads into. Um, right. uh, he sees that um, it's 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 overgrown and and but it's you know you can pretty readily make a way through it. Um, okay. Going uh, to the south of the building of the abandoned building, um, he does see another building off to the directly to the east and um he sees lights sort of coming out of the out of the windows it seems that this may be lived in um he sees footprints um you know in the dirt around um he actually sees some footprints leading up you know from from that place towards where you guys were staying which leads you know leads father leads uh, zippy to believe that maybe just maybe someone in this building had been keeping their eye hmm yeah. Let's go. All right. Just be sure to hug that corner of the uh, alchemist. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Actually, should I investigate? Can uh, can I go up this this area here, just to make sure there's nothing in this area that could? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna go like right. Uh, go here. Yeah, we'll go right there. All right. So you fly in and you're instantly dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, oh no, at least she's gonna um, kill me. <laughs> yeah, you you better be careful, David. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> so uh, you, you see, yeah, this is definitely an abandoned building. The walls are broken down. The path leads mm-hmm. through. Um, you can see uh, sort of the northern part of the building um, that you, you that you you saw from the south, uh, sort of peeking its way around. Um, several paths lead into it. Um, again, some light coming from the building. Um, on this, you also see a little bit of smoke coming out the chimney. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, that's that's the end of my investigation. All right, so Zippy's hanging tight. I will be... Yeah, I will be hanging tight here. Okay, so Tom... Until you guys show up. I'm proposing we just walk like... This. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, plus a partial wall. Let me look at something. You're good. Ooh. So I'll cool. give you all the way to where Zippy is before we anything else happens. Okay. Okay. Hooray. <clears throat> so is Zippy right? didn't Zippy didn't mention seeing any humans, right? Nope. He's seen nobody thus far. Who's who's stealthy? Should we have Okay, so first off, Skylar is gonna go down straight down the road, right? Just, Wait, I'm gonna well, give you to the, to the orange line. I couldn't. I'll I'll cancel this, and I'm gonna let you do that again if you want. Um, <laughs> I can go by the orange line, right? The orange line is not on the road. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think I should do? Should we go down the orange line? Follow Zippy? No. Wait, what are you what are you talking about? We're gonna follow Zippy, right? Yeah, we're just going to go down that direction, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We're just trying to keep our distance from Zombo House. Just just to be clear, so you're each going to you're each going to move your characters now and I'll just approve the moves. Um So, yeah. Do we really have to? I mean, I like we're just we're just going to we're just going to do that until something indicates that something weird has happened. Yeah. So, so here, here's the bottom line. Um, <laughs> Zippy, Zippy has sent you signals that if you guys, if if you guys move on the road, which Skylar just did, if I had approved it, it's going to draw the zombies out. It's oh. too close, mm-hmm. right? Oh, so I thought it was safe. No, no. 
the no, orange no, line that the road. that's why that's why i gave you a get out of jail free <laughs> right? that's uh, why. so my point is like zippy here. if you're all if you all agree that you're going to literally follow that orange line then i'm just going to move your guys's care your token yes, yes. that's okay. what i <laughs> thought we said <laughs> okay yeah, let's um, do making sure do we need stell no because i got I, zero no, no we, you're, we, you're, we, it, look, with a party you, this big, somebody's always going to like fail it. Yeah, no. So I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid having you guys have to roll every five seconds. Yeah. But if 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 you have every like, like here's the bottom line, if you have every signal that walking on the road is going to draw aggro oh, yeah. and then you still choose yeah. to draw aggro, I'm going to let right. you draw aggro for going forward. OK, <laughs> sorry, party. Yeah, hey, I, yeah. Think I, was, I think I was able to get away with being that close because I was invisible and flying. Yeah, so yeah. So the chances but, of them and he rolled to see if I aggroed them, if to see yeah. if my wings aggroed them. Yeah, so the, the what, scout, the scout has to do the scout stuff, team. right? So like, I'm sorry, but you guys are at the mercy of that. But like, yeah, you're good. All right, there it is. I've erased that orange line now. We are back in business. Okay, right. so, so you so guys you find are. yourself nestled against this this empty building. There's nothing there. Um, All right. You're not seeing anything other than bramble and brushes. All right. So do we want to, like, show up as a huge party or just have one or two people come? Well, that's a good point. Um, I would say we're a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of us coming together, so... I'd say just a few. So, and these so, people are cultists. So hmm. just a gentle, I mean, just like a, maybe I could have mentioned this. This is on your GM. Um, as Zippy was seeing the buildings, it saw it, it saw um, foot traffic to the south of the building that you guys are next to. Um, but there's a path that goes up to the north. And from where Zippy's standing, it, can see, it sees a door. It did not see a door on the other side of the building. So it seems like there's a door into this building. Oh, so the and entrance is on the north side. The north side, yeah. Not well, at least an entrance. From what Zippy mm -hmm. saw, there's an entrance to the north side. Yes. Okay. Can we go around both directions? That seems now, questionable. I actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna walk up to their door. Ding dong. Yep. I. Okay. So um, I will unlock. Please don't drag your tokens around unless I tell you to. Um, <laughs> so Cyrus, go ahead and drag your token up to where you want. I will erase your fancy line. But I like it. I'm chilling here just to not. They need to have a follow the path so you can draw a line and then turn yeah. after turn. Your, your characters just follow that line. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That would be handy. That is, that is a good idea. All right. So you're at the door. Here's where I need to know what the rest of the party is doing before hanging back. Before I, I hear bing bong. I'm going to hang back. Play it safe over here. Not to intimidate. I'm enormously intimidating. My character. <laughs> all right. So you guys are all back there. Zippy's hanging tight. Is anybody going to go with? Um, you know what? Uh... I'm no. a smooth talker. Who's who's got high charisma? That's I do in real life. You mean? No, I'm just kidding. Oh yeah. Not. Charisma? <laughs> I got yeah. No, I'm just I'm neutral. I'm ten. Plus one. That's me menu, right? Or me? If the scale Plus... was ten, that would be great. 10 out of 10. Let's do it. Yeah. 14. Okay. Both Fabian and yeah, let me Let me just see if I can... Let me just see if I can find out, you know, anything interesting, and I'll I'll call out some sort of... Uh, I'll, I'll call out some sort of loud shout if I, if I need help. Uh, can Fabia maybe, like, come through this building and kind of stand, like... Right. Yep. Why is it not letting me draw? Is it, it letting is. me draw? I see, a bunch of, I see a bunch of black stuff. You're like making okay. all sorts of smudges. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, it's not it's not registering on my. Okay, I'll, I'll oh. move Fabio there for you. Okay. Yeah. Just as kind of like a. I mean, she'd be taking a shot in terms of like 
not hitting Cyrus, but if push comes to shove. So I sort of behind like... the wall, just just having his back a little bit. A little bit, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's let's I'll, we'll just say that she's readied, right? I like it. Uh, if anyone we're... if anyone harms Mister Bing, she's gonna like lay them out with an arrow. Pretty much, readied. Where All is right. Readied? What about Skylar, Karen, and Noodle? You all... come? I think Karen should hold back. Yeah. Stay where you are for now. That's fine. All right. Cool. Hey, Karen, let's go check out those zombies. <laughs> all right, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cyrus, oh it is time to get your role play on. All right. I'm, I'm knocking. I'm knocking on the door. All right. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. So the door is <laughs> answered and ignore, ignoring the token, which will permanently have everyone with a knife in their hands. Um, <laughs> yeah. You, what's that? You see this Wait, dude what? with um. You see, he's like, he's like, you know, hey, uh, uh may, may I help you? I, I, I'm Coda. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm gonna be oh. like, you know, uh, well, let me just roll my deception check because basically, I'm, I'm, I'll give you my story. Uh, oh, basically, you know, I've, I've been feeling a void in my life, something that that might be filled by dragons. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, on, hold on. Hold on. I know. First off, um, you know, let me uh go ahead and share with you guys what these guys look like. Oh my. Cool. You're going to Just so you know who you're messing you're so with. So lame. <laughs> I don't know. I think they look pretty fancy. Fancy. All right, so he's like so so you, already, you don't even know. <laughs> okay. All right, Bing, have at it. Do it again. Okay. He's like, he's like, what? Wow. Yeah, what, what, what? Why? Why are you here? This like, you know, we don't get many visitors. Why? Well, you, you, you guys are 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 really really impressive looking. Oh, almost right. look like like dragons. Ah, well, well, we we are the dragon. We are the dragon cult. Oh, do you do you worship dragons? Uh. I wouldn't say worship, um, but I wouldn't not say worship. But but first, who who are you? You know, and and why are you here? Um, and and how did you make it? You know, through Thunder Tree. I am Cyrus Bing. I'm a, a wanderer. Um, I I ran across another human and said who said there are some impressive looking folks uh, wandering around nearby, and I I wanted to inquire what what. Uh, what was going on? Are you alone? I am. Roll a uh, deception. deception. Oh my god! <laughs> you uh, nice. yeah, you do. You do look like someone who spends a lot of time alone. So who who did you, you know who who sent you our way? Well, I I knocked on a on a, on a door and there was a, a kindly old man, uh, across the way, um, and I asked him for some food and he gave me food and and then I went on my way. It sounds like the druid. Oh, is he a druid? Just just to the east. Oh, uh, west maybe. I'm sorry, just to the west. <laughs> sorry, you caught us at happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> The happiest of hours. <laughs> and and he, he raises a drink and he's like, anyway, one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The West. The West. I get that all confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, didn't have any, I didn't have any meaningful contact with him, but he was very nice and gave me food. Uh, did he warn you of the dragon? I didn't hear him talk about a dragon. What? Uh, is it, There's so a dragon around here? Be careful. To the north. And I and I can't believe that you've not you've not heard him. You can hear him if you if you if you listen closely. You can hear him breathing. Um, to the north is a dragon, Venom Fang. Um, we, you know, we are we are here to make contact with the dragon. We've not we've not found a way in. But 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 that's not for me to say. I'm just I'm just a lowly acolyte. Um, if you want if you want true information, I'll, I'll, I'll I can introduce you to I can introduce introduce you to. Uh, um, Fabric, our 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 leader. 
By all means, that would be that would be wonderful. All right. So with that, are you going to you know he invites you in and yeah, you know, he I'll says go like in. Uh, come 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 in and 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 wait here. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go in. I give him the, the a, a thumbs up sign behind my back and <laughs> head okay. on in. Awesome. So he heads in, and you hear some um, you hear some muttering, you know, back and forth, and a little like surprise. Um, huh. and then out comes fabric along with Kuda and um, a third um, ah, Spigman. So, you know, you're in the building and uh, yeah. So, you know, it, you don't feel they don't make you feel, I mean, <laughs> despite their icon, their tokens with <laughs> big ass daggers. Um, you know, there's not a lot of cultists that aren't carrying weapons in this game. I don't know why. And Fabric, you can tell, he has the biggest weapon of them all. Um, um, you don't feel you don't feel threatened. Oh, does he? Necessarily, um, they're not necessarily friend, but they're not necessarily foe. Um, uh-huh. you, they seem like a, a, a reasonable lot who's maybe a little naive. Hmm. So Fabric, you know, he comes out. He's like, he's like, I, I, I you know, I've, I've, I've been given word that uh, that you want to, that you'd like to chat. I, I would. I'm very. I'm very interested in 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 what what. Uh, I, you. I heard somebody say there's a dragon around here, and that. Uh, and I, I found you guys very very interesting, and I'd like to find out more about dragons in general. And uh, maybe maybe if I could join you, or. Uh, you want to join the dragon cult? Uh, maybe I, it depends on what you do. <laughs> Um, that, this that, is the first time I've ever heard of a cult just referring to themselves as a cult too. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I, I I cult. Yeah. We are not a cult. I you literally thought to myself as I said that I'm like they're referring to themselves as a cult. <laughs> but for, for all intents and purposes. You can't so, leave, but it's not a cult. <laughs> you have to give up everything. So, you know, so Fabric Fabric seems very interested in an alliance. Um, huh. he, you know, he's, you know, he said, you know, to join our social club, um, you know, it requires, you know, it requires, you know, more than just like showing up sort of randomly. Um, there's, you know, there's tests, there's, you know, um, there's do's, right? There's don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but that's probably a conversation, you know, over a pint yeah. at some other place. But for right now, you know, he, he says, you know, he says, um, they, they really need the dragon to side with them. And what he's hoping, um, you know, what he's hoping is that, um, uh, that he can talk this dragon into moving out of Thunderhorn, which, you know, which is not good for a green dragon. Um, and maybe considering, you know, um, Wyvern Tor, right? Which, um, you know, as soon as he says that, Cyrus, you remember that, like, this is, you know, this is something that someone had talked about in, you know, back in the city. Um, uh, something about um, orc problems, right? Being overridden with orcs. Well, what what can we do to win favor with this with this dragon? That's you know we've been like 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 I said I, I think I think he's escaping something you know I, it, you know we didn't even know its name you know until we heard you know until we heard the druid speaking of this dragon um, uh, we have not we've not talked to the dragon um, uh, we've we've just largely been you know um, studying the dragon and, and and sort of measuring its day and and, and trying to understand its habits um, and we're, we're very confused as to why it's here there's there's so little water here. And um, and and very little treasure. Um, it just, just just does not make sense. So we really think that we can gain favor from this dragon if we can convince it to um, to move from Thunderhorn uh, to Wyvern Tor or to some other some other more desirable location. Now, the problem with Wyvern Tor 
is it is overridden with orcs. Yeah, but so, I, I, I would imagine that orcs are pretty tasty. Uh, but not to me. <laughs> well, no, to to a to a dragon. <laughs> right. So you know that's you know that's part of, you know, part of our part of our our problem is we would we would love to offer him a you know a you know move in ready with curb appeal new lair, um, but but alas you know um, there is there is that the, the, the problem with orcs right so we're not sure you know we're not sure if he'd be willing to sort of take on you know take on that that trouble um, when you know it's done a pretty good job of clearing out the blights here. Well, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's aware that there's you know not a ton of water around. Or were, were you guys thinking about bringing him water? So I have a, a visitor, you guys. Can you give me two seconds? I'll yes. be right back. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right, so I like where you're going with this. Um, I yeah, I, the, I, dragon, the dragon needs our help. Maybe we should help the dragon. Well, I I don't know about that. I think we we may just be able to walk away from this. <laughs> I mean, like if, as, if as they're naive trying as get, they are, yeah. I'm if, actually if, thinking of like counters. Like if sh like if shit goes south, like I may be able to like get Zippy to echo down through like a chimney or something. Be like, ah, because of how <laughs> naive they are, and like pretend that he's they're the dragon. Nice. And scare them out of the house. <laughs> and then, because I was looking oh. at his deception, and I'm like, he's got a plus four, or the little Zippy's got a plus four. So I, we might be able to pull this off if, without any, sh like bloodshed. Uh, <laughs> boo, boo. Yeah, I know, but well, I didn't like. I was not really particularly looking to tangle either with the cultists yeah. or with the dragon. Uh, but if if they're trying to get rid of the dragon, um. We may be able to help them. Yeah, we should yeah. let them do it. Well, like everybody's everybody's agenda is aligned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we need to find out if they just a little bit more about how they plan to. Like, yeah. I think we're starting to ask about the water and stuff. So. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab another glass of wine. I'll be right back. I like it. Oh, yeah. I'll be back in a second too. <laughs> All right. Ready to break. Shall return as well. I'm still playing, but I run a little break so I can see him. Hey there. I guess we're taking a bio break, Cliff. Yeah, I think everybody went for bathroom and refills. That's a good idea. Yeah, I had to uh, get a hairbrush out of my car because it was a hairbrush emergency. Happens. So what, what did you guys discuss when I was gone? Anything exciting? Well, we can't tell you. <laughs> then it wouldn't be a that. surprise. If there, are, if there are ever moments when you guys want to scheme without me hearing, like you should let me know. Okay. I can, I can facilitate that. Um, no, so we actually, so so we've we've decided that the our interests are aligned with these cultists. Um, yeah. So we we don't need to you know knock them off. We might actually help them. <laughs> awesome. Or just leave because <laughs> let them take care of it. <laughs> Was it? 
you guys, do, do you was there anything else we wanted from the the, the druid besides the Cragmaw Castle location? Hmm. Trying to remember if there was anything else. Um, Wave Echo Cave. He may know some in some ways there. Um, right. Um, or he may he may be able to point you to people who could help you get to Wave Echo Cave. So when everyone gets back, we can pick up pick up where we left off. I'm eating some lovely cucumbers. Very nice. So very randomly, I was only able to get this when I went home, back home to, well, I should say, Alicia's home. Uh, Fannie Mae. But Costco sells them now. So I made the joke that, and then instantly retracted it. Because uh, Alicia's aunt Janice is terrifying. <laughs> so I said I really don't have any reason to go back home now because I can have Fannie Mae here, which she uh, was the, the one that always fed me Fannie Mae. And then I, I said, see. please don't tell Aunt Janice that. <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you spent much time in in the region? Oh, in the um, region, Indiana. Yeah, I sure have. <laughs> um, so, so like, actually, the the thing that I was going to ask is like, so, so when, when like, uh, uh, when yeah. when the girls get together, does their does their region accent come out? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be, to, no, you're, yeah. you're confusing. You confusing two girls from the region with Harbor girls. What's Harbor? East Chicago. Ah. Uh. There's a ah. difference. Yeah, there's there's a a little more. Yeah, there's a little bit more to their voice. Okay, I just remember like so so you know we lived in uh, Chicago for a while and it was the best the the funniest thing was like you go to church and it's like God from God, light from light, <laughs> true God from true God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're 100%. talking you're talking about people from St. John too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, yo, yeah. Tommy, give me a beer. <laughs> yes. Hey, can you go to the car? <laughs> yes. Oh, very yeah. good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, big time. Everyone back? Mm -hmm. okay, why don't you guys regroup real quick? With, um, re regroup with what you're going to do, and then um, we'll take this plot forward. Well, so I was, I was going to ask um, these fine gentlemen if they had considered bringing water to the dragon. That was the same thing I asked before, and then you went silent. <laughs> Did, it does not, look like... Should I not say that? <laughs> it does look like he's talking to ghosts. It does. <laughs> I'm sorry. My daughter is asking me all sorts of questions in in sentences that I can't understand because they're incomplete. Um, voice, suddenly, I'm helping her. The yeah. perfect the perfect questioning line of questioning is the incomplete yeah. ones. <laughs> yes. All right. So, ask me your question. I'm paying attention now. Oh yeah. So I well, I was just I was just wondering what can I what can I do to help? I mean, have you think guys thought about like bringing water to the dragon? You know, as an offering of goodwill. Uh, yeah, we 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 thought about you know um, redirecting you know redirecting. There's a small stream, um, but it's in, it, it's insignificant. There's just nothing. You know, dragons need to swim. They need to fly. They need to hoard treasure. This is honestly the worst place, you know, for a dragon. So now as, you know, as Fabric's talking, um, you know, you hear a familiar voice from the other room and, uh, um, you know, it takes you a second because like wildly unexpected, um, but you know, through the door pops Nick. <clears throat> well, hello there. Uh. <laughs> Well, well, that's, that's right. You exactly. haven't been with us the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so you guys, you know. Hey. So Nick, um, you know, Nick's been gone, um, yeah, and you know, has been, you know, has been, 
you know, on this quest for this knowledge. So he'd been, he had that note and he has this forbidden knowledge and he, you know, he, you know, his, his trail has, has honestly led him back here. And Nick, do you want to share with them sort of what you've learned thus far, whatever you want to share, because, you know, again, you know, Nick's dealing with a, a, a topic that's a little cagey. And um, again, you know, he's not supposed to trust people. Really? Mike, yeah, we're Mike. not over there. So if they're in some place, we're we're like, we can't mm. hear this right now, right? Yeah, so you just you have to play the um, deniable, you know, we don't know what's going on moment. So, je- what are you doing here? Stuart, what are you doing here? Let's discuss in these nice uh, manufactured Costa Rican chairs. Oh God, you guys, You're killing me! <laughs> Very nice. Uh, what what are you doing here? Though? <laughs> yeah, Nick, I'm not. No, I'm not going to no, role play for you. I gave you all the data. <laughs> yeah. Um. So pretty much what I found is is that um for sure. lack. Shall Black. I role play for you? <laughs> what job? Yeah. Shall I? Well, yeah. So I mean, what, Nick, it was, it was what, what Nick can't get out. <laughs> What's that? up? I said, what yeah. Nick can't seem to get out is that, you know, in his studies, you know, he was following this, this, this trail. And he's trying to really understand, you know, this, this, the secret that he carries with him is, is something that didn't make a lot of sense to him. So he's trying to understand it. And um, what he's, what he's unwound, you know, thus far is you know little hints that you know maybe um some people have found ways to summon very large creatures and and control these creatures um how he's not quite sure um uh but through a series of conversations and bribes um you know he he made his way to thunder tree where he was told um some cultists were sort of hanging out um, with the big dragon. Um, and so he was trying to connect the dots, right? And thinking maybe, you know, maybe they they had something to do with this, you know, with this personal quest that he's on. Mm-hmm. And how much more he divulges to you guys is up to Nick. Well, pretty much from what I've been led to believe is the reason why there is a large creature here that requires uh, massive amounts of sustenance that it can't find here is that it was forced to be here. Hmm. Do we know by who or the circumstances? No. I'm sure that was... Uh, these, here do we these, are. <laughs> do these fine fine gentlemen know of uh, why, why this dragon is here? I don't know. I, I sweep my hand to indicate the the rest of the cultists. So Fabric, you know, Fabric yeah. overhears your 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 conversation, and you know he's like, you know, yeah, I'm ah, oh, Sir Fabric. I, I'm not Hello. sure. I'm not sure. You know, do, do you guys do you guys know each other? Um, we have crossed paths before. Because, like I said, I'm a wanderer. I'm I'm all over the place. Because because Phil here, at least that's what he told us his name was. Um, you know, and I, Phil, and I, I wink to Cyrus. So, you know, Phil, Phil tells us that, you know, that he's, you know, he's on the trail of, of, of some sort of power that might allow us to, you know, to, to, to bring concert to the dragon. And, and, uh, you know, we know, we know that this would look like we would, we would come out looking phenomenal to the leaders of the dragon cult. <laughs> Again. Oh, to so there's a, a bigger organization. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're I just s- we're just a we're just a a, 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 a small group um, that, that that came here, you know, on our own to sort of make our way. Let me see. Interesting. So, it sounds like you guys want to uh, uh, potentially vacate the dragon elsewhere, correct? If I'm understanding you correctly, yes, think, yeah, fabric. Like they're they're trying to find a, a more suitable place for it. Yeah, we, look, we're not we're not trying to rid you know 
rid ourselves of the dragon. We're trying to find, you know, the dragon a a better place to live. Right. A, a more peaceful resolve with the dragon. Well, yeah, you know, as as peaceful as you can be with a dragon. Right. Right. Like, let's not let's not kid ourselves. Dragons are can be cruel, um, but their power is, is and and you know and and wealth is right. know, undeniably amazing. And so, just the, the question to the to the the GM about my my knowledge is yep. that it's, in my research I would know that dragons are relatively pretty intelligent across the board, regardless of what kind we are dealing with. Yeah, yeah, you you okay. you've, you know through your research you you know um, everything I mentioned earlier, right? right. They're, they're they're kind of badass. Um, yeah, they're they're also cruel. Uh, they're like a cat; they like to play with their food. Right. Right. Um, yeah, very much so. Right. Okay. You know, you, you also know you also you know got, came to these cultists you know um, looking for answers and and these are probably not the cultists that you're looking for. <laughs> these are not the cult. These right. are not the uh, right. Okay. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, they're, you know, like they're, they're here almost, you know, they think of this dragon almost religiously. Right. Um, right. Um, I see. Yeah. You know, it's, it's pretty clear to you, Nick, that if push came to shove, um, they would turn on you and help the dragon. Ah, okay. Right. Um, right. so, so they're, they're fairly devoted to the, I mean, like they're in a cult. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, however small it may be. Well, I mean, like this is like again, this is just a splinter group, right? Like now, the... are they trying to? In my travels, have I figured out whether or not they want to try and merge themselves with this dragon cult that we've found out about, or is this a new under? Is this a new development that I'm uh, learning I'm... along with Cyrus? I'm, I'm... So you, so you know. Okay, so I, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah. So you know that there was um, there was a, a, a group of, of of dragon. We'll just say not cultists. We'll just say dragon uh, uh, aficionados. Worshippers. Worshippers. Or, yeah, aficionados. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> that um, better you know, better dragon worshippers. Right. That that um, are trying to sort of get in with this dragon. Right. Um, okay. You you have learned that um, they brought tribute. Right, um, uh, treasure for the dragon. Mm. Um, now you also, you know, you get a sense that, like, Favric is way more into this than everyone else, right? And you yeah. know, there's the three with you, but you hear others, you know, sort of mulling around and and moving around in the room, you know, uh, to the south. Um, yeah, so like these guys are, you know are sort of in study mode and sort of trying to come up with a plan mode, but their end okay. game here is to sort of bribe the dragon, maybe get the dragon a better home. Um, they're really trying to sort of, you know, get in good with this dragon because if they get in good with this dragon, right. A that right. sort of checks the dragon box and they are the cult of dragons. Um, yeah. And B that will sort of elevate them in the ranks, you know, of the, uh, you know, of their order that they're in. Okay. So, and it sounds to me like Favric is the more passionate. Yeah. So why don't you roll? Um, uh, what would it be? Let me look at skills. Why don't you roll? And and Cyrus, you can roll this as well. Um, roll a insight. Mm. Or a his uh, insight or a history. Let's do uh, no, Yeah, I think it's it. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, wait, hold on one sec. <laughs> yeah, so roll an roll an insight check. Yeah. All right. Oof. Okay. Y yeah, that's not so good. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty good. Oh, uh, oh crap! I didn't roll it. I'm sorry. I rolled that as Fabia. Yeah. Uh, you got to you got to roll as you got to roll as Nick. Yeah, I got to roll as Nick. That was Nick I Papa realized Bird, that yeah. as soon. As, I was like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I started. All I right. almost started to say stuff. <laughs> All right. See if I get the. Oh, come on. You're a little rusty. It's been a few weeks since you played. Yeah, all right. There we go. And it is a. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, 
I just want everybody to know that that Nick has returned. <laughs> yeah, Nick's back. Nick is back Nick's, to the Avengers. Nick is back. So Nick, um, yeah. So Nick, you don't know much. Um, Cyrus, you know a little bit more than Nick, but not too much. Like, in just from his voice, you know, even with those crappy roles, like you know that he's his he's he's sincere in his desire to do whatever it takes to get in good with this dragon. Um, you also, you know, you also like it reinforces that these these others they're into it, but they're not that into it. So, you know, while he might turn and fight, maybe maybe they wouldn't. Um, and unlike everyone else, he also seems to have some sort of a vial around around his neck. Mm. Sort of glistens in the uh, glistens in the sunlight. Rand, what's 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 that around your neck? That, that's oh that's... this. This, oh, this is my prized possession. Um, this is my my potion, my potion of flying. Um, you, you, you know, my thought being that you know, with with tribute, if I were to if I were to fly and gently land, you know, in the lair of the dragon um, with tribute in um, oh, oh so humble, that that might potentially be a, a way in. Right, sort of kindred spirits. Hmm. Okay. Can I, ask, can I ask where he might have, uh, in interest of, um, uh, what's the what's the word I want to use? I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying. I'm trying to make it seem like I'm more enthused about the, I guess, technology, if you will, behind it, rather than where he actually got it. But I am actually, like, interested in where he may have conjured that. Oh, I did not conjure this. I purchased it. Oh, you purchased it. Years and years and years of saving, um, you know, my nickels and dimes and gold and silver um, allowed me to, to purchase this small vial of, 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 of a flying potion that, um, you know, is a means to an end. Can I roll a knowledge arcana? Uh, I want to figure out. I want to figure out, like, with that vial, like, what exactly he would be able to do, and if it has the power to do so. Pretty much, All by right. by looking at it. Roll an Arcana check. All right. Okay. Come on. There we go. It's a little better. Sixteen. Yeah. So. Better than a one. <laughs> yeah. So what you see visually is like there's this clear liquid that floats sort of at the top of this, uh, the vial and the top of this liquid is sort of cloudy, right? Um, and it just sort of, there's like certain impurity sort of drifting through it. It's, it's almost mesmerizing. Um, you know that, you know, that this potion is unbelievably rare, costing anywhere from, you know, 5,000 to 50,000 gold pieces, right? right? Depending on where you purchased it. So like this took some serious saving to get to this, this vial. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, you know, that just sort of, um, your understanding of alchemy is that, uh, a flying potion tends to last for roughly an hour. Okay. Right. Um, uh, and it allows you to move, you know, about the same distance that you can walk. Right. Right. Um, and there's some, you know, some, some cautionary tales. Um, you know, you've heard rumors of people that get so carried away with the flying, that they forget that, you know, when it runs out, if you've been flying, you fall to your death. Mm. Right? So, you yep. know, mind your this time. This one does. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's well, it's that whole, like, thrill seeker type thing where you yeah. get, it's like people forget to pull the chute. And, and while, and Nick, while you've toyed with flying, um, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps a potion would be easier than throwing yourself at the ground and missing. Come on, guys! A Hitchhiker's reference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. Yeah, <laughs> I just re I just finished the Frood last night, the, the biography. Nice. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So that's so okay. that's what you know. It's it's okay. yeah. It's a, it's a it's a potion of flying. All right. So it anyone is, with it is money anyone with money can pick them up at at um, any decent you know any decent shop. Okay, but I just wanted to make sure that like what he has he wasn't sold a, a pup pretty much well i mean it is in fact a potion of flying 
for all intents and purposes, like you, you aren't, you haven't tasted it, you haven't used it, right. like just visually and based and on visually, what you know, I can tell that it is. It, yeah, a it seems it seems like okay. a legit potion of flying. Okay. Okay. So do you want to slit his throat because I think Karen needs to <laughs> like kill some stuff tonight, or she'll never play again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think we've already lost Noodle. <laughs> the last two sessions were action packed. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you know, Favric's like, you know, what, you know, um, do we have a deal? Or you, you, do you want to help me? Do you want to help me turn this dragon? It's a deal. Because he's trying to get this, he's trying to get this dragon to, to, you know, to bribe it to go to Thunder Tree. Okay. I don't know about a deal, but, you know, I'll, sure, I'll, I'll help. I'm going to defer to Cyrus just because I don't want Fabric to know that I've been working with Cyrus for a long time. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hmm, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, I do carry the two. Yes, that does sound something like <laughs> that is potentially feasible. <laughs> so, so he's like, um, and good for the, and good for the cult. Shall, he's like, shall we go? Shall we go now? Well, well, do you have your tribute together? I, I've got my tribute. Um, I've already got Kuda's here. You know, I got like a Spigman and Kuda's here, and Wooda and Shuda are in the other room along with Framstone. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, yeah, let's let's do it. I mean, I don't have the, I don't have the fancy costume, so I don't know how much I can help there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um. Meanwhile, so what are the rest of you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so like you don't know so you don't know what's what's happening, you know. Um Fabia Fabia has her, her bow raised at the door. Um Zippy's sort of just like fluttering, you know, just just above the trees. Um how are you guys gonna play this when you know C yeah, Cyrus right? Cyrus, who's who's a single traveler, <laughs> leaves, <laughs> leaves leaves the home with um uh six cultists and Nick. <laughs> no, I mean that's a real question. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Tar Tar well, go ahead. Well, I was thinking. I I feel like. Well, I guess I don't know that. I guess seeing Cyrus, I would know that the group is not far off. At least I would hope that he wouldn't show up by himself. <laughs> did you? Did you want to? Did you want to ask him that out loud? <laughs> No. <laughs> Where group? Where's the gang? Who? Yeah, where... <laughs> Elegant who? <laughs> I mean, I I guess you know how. Uh, how do I ask that? I guess like in your travels by yourself. <laughs> well, you weren't. So you I weren't do. in the room. You weren't in the room when he said by himself. Just just to be mm -hmm. perfectly fair. I mean, yes. I'm, I'm just. But I would also. I, I I don't know who you're talking about. I I'm just out here wandering on my own. Are we just gonna randomly be really like, oh, we were hey, yeah, we just needing were... a place to stay? Yeah, I'm just we're... gonna. I'm just gonna. You know, a lowly theater my... troupe. Oh, hey, adventurers! <laughs> <Right? laughs> God. This is. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I thought you had a pretty good plan, <laughs> and I'm as interested in where this is going as anyone. <laughs> so. All right. So you're. So what's. So what's the plan, Mr. Bing? Um, you got Nick in tow. You've got six cultists. Well, five cultists and a cult leader. Um, you're like hankering to talk to a dragon. Um, you know, fabric. You know, fabric does say. You know. Um, stick to the paths, you know, stick to the paths and tread lightly. Um, uh, there's many blights and, uh, and, and zombies, you know, uh, so, to be found in some of these, these buildings. And, and we do know one thing for sure. The druid loves his blights. So we uh, do our best not to hurt his blights. Uh, can I, can I, uh, ask, uh, the, the DM real quick. So, sure. Obviously, obviously, I've been here before Cyrus got here. Yeah, because I sh I came out of like 
the kitchen, essentially. Um, yeah, you were, oh, you, hey. were in council, you were in council, right? There was basically okay. one dude, you know, one dude sort of watching the door and the rest of them were in the room with you. Um, right. Just sort of, you know, uh, you'd gotten there, you know, earlier in the day. So it's not like you've mm-hmm. been there for weeks, right? Right. Um, um, so they know you slightly, like, a few hours better than they know Mr. Bing. Okay. But you've earned their trust. You truly showed up alone. Okay. Right? Um, um, let me let me ask, can I, I would like to, you know, for, for lack of a better term, like, make sure that, you know, you are fully and truly trustworthy. If Favric would have my blessing to try and make sure that, Cyrus is, you know, of the cause. And maybe that would be our way of maybe deferring and me uh, talking with Cyrus to figure out how we're going to get the rest of the group. <laughs> so, so are you, are you, are you suggesting that maybe you and Cyrus step outside for a minute, a minute to, to, to reconnect and chat? Yes, but also like not, you know, mess around with, what me and Favric have in terms of trust. <clears throat> All right, so you guys pull your characters where you want to be, and you do okay. you. All right. This is something I will not need to facilitate. Sounds good. Who so, was watching yeah. this? Wouldn't they know if he was with us? Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. I keep waiting for that shoe to drop. Yeah. Yeah. Shh. So. Shh. Baby sleeping. <laughs> All right, so you guys want me to pull you outside? Is that the idea? Yes. All right, so Cyrus heads out. Nick heads out. And, and as you guys are heading out, you see Shoulda, you know, in out of the corner of your eye, like, sort of like yeah. squaring, you know, squaring, squaring Bing up a little bit um, uh, as if, you know. Something's not right. Something, something's not right. Now he was not part of the conversation with Fabric, right? He oh, he right. just came in. Um, so while you guys are chatting, you know the the cultists are going to have a little chat as well. Just well, sort of just, to, to start, just start interrogating me. Uh, me, Mister Maylock. Yeah, just you All know, right. make a make a show of like you know trying to be kind of. <sighs> Yeah. You know? <laughs> Listen, Mr. Swing, uh, I'm not entirely sure why he, you thought it was a good idea to come, you know, to come up here and, you know, try and as a lonely wanderer. Right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure you were. So is this, meanwhile, is this, like, is this the of, real role play? Because otherwise like, I'm going to have these guys hearing you through the door. <laughs> or is that fake? Is that is that the real role play? It's fake <laughs> i'm faint i'm feigning an interrogation <laughs> all right so so look you guys have had your time you guys are talking we're gonna move mm-hmm. this along like right. you know these guys are like hey we're you know i hope your console went well um spigman pops out wuda pops out fabric you know he's pops out <clears throat> coulda Framstone, and then sort of pulling up the rear is is Shuda, and you know Shuda comes right up, you know, right up next to you guys. And he's like, I've, "I've been told that you you said you said you were alone, but I clearly saw you with several others last night." That wasn't me. <laughs> See, you, you, I roll, roll my roll, deception. Roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> and it just but before you roll it just so you know oh. you're gonna need to get like 18 or higher man or no i'll give you a 17 right. 17 or higher because okay. <laughs> he legit saw you <laughs> wait it's not it's like not rolling uh hold on yeah for some reason when i was trying to grab the dice like you gotta push you gotta click yeah, on let the me dice just try this perfectly 15 yeah no so he's like Ugh. He he's, he kind yeah. of like you see a little a little bit of doubt and he's like no no I'm I'm sure of it you uh I saw you with I saw you with uh, uh, a a ranger um a dwarf uh a human and and uh, like an orc 
I, I'm like someone was like in some pain, moaning and groaning. And, uh, you know, there was also, I assume with you, this little bat like thing. So, you know, um, like thing. My, my eyes, you know, my now eyes did not play. Now who's, <laughs> now who's, who's spinning a tail? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, is it coulda? Woulda? Shoulda. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. Mr. Mr. Shoulda. Are you and, so and coulda and coulda and woulda are like what what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so are you now clearly your your uh, fabric was was confiding in Mister Bing here to try and you know figure out ways to you know a better put themselves in a situation with this dragon. And he's already sort of kind of confided in him of trying to come up with a plan. Are you trying to dash that? No, that, and who are you saying? Who are you saying this to? I'm saying that to Shoulda. Shoulda. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's like, nah, I, I agree with, I agree with the plan, you know. But, um, you know, but when we're faced with a dragon, um, you know, what limited time we've spent together, you know, there needs to be that trust. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I, I won't approach the dragon then. You you guys can approach the dragon. I'm fine with that. Then what good is our agreement? <laughs> I can I can help you in whatever way you want. And how will you help? Well, what's your plan? <laughs> so so you know, I mean, we, if, we... if you guys don't need my help, it's fine. You guys can go. You sh- you should you know go go talk with him right now. So fabric is looking a little a, a little uneasy, right? Because you're like you know he's he's. He's looking for any help that he can get, you know, to sort of convince this dragon. Um, mm. Fabric, Frag, Fabric wants you, right? He, you know, he's been pretty. He's hinted pretty clearly. He wants you to sort of make a nice home for the dragon, right? Um, in Wyvern Tor, um, and then Shuda, you know, it, it Shuda sort of says is like, you know, well, you know, we've got we've got tribute, right? Um, you mm. know, you know, we. You know, we're in this for the right reasons. Like, why? Like, why? You know, why are you interested in this dragon? I'm just interested in dragons. Yeah, Making that's hard, man. We, I thought that's yeah. That's <laughs> why we were all here. We're interested in. <laughs> but you know, I don't let me keep you. I mean, yeah. I, I I'm I don't want to you know hinder your efforts by by any means. So so Fa- you know Fabric, you know. Uh, looks at um, at you, Nick, and he's like, "What? You know, we, we've we've spent we've spent the morning together. Um, yes. You know, uh, and and you know, I'm 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 very interested in, you know, in in sort of the this, this tale of of being able to to sort of summon and you know summon and and wrangle creatures. Um, you know, As are am you I. are you are you you know maybe you know time you know." At some point, at some point, we'll lose our window of being able to communicate with this dragon. Are, are you coming with us, or are you going with? Are you going with this? Uh, uh, with with was it Mister Bing? Yep, so, Cyrus, Cyrus Bing. Cyrus Bing. Service. Yes. I mean, I, you've said it yourself that you've wanted as as much help. Uh, I thought that's, you know, what we were talking about in the room when I came in. So, you know, the the more the merrier. As, as long as we have. And I yes, of course, I'm coming with you, because well, this, this. Yes, of course, I'm coming with you guys. We're we're look, we're on a spiritual journey, right? You're on a journey for knowledge, Mister right. Bing. What journey are you on? I I am only on a journey of curiosity, which leads to knowledge. So he would be in my stead. <laughs> He's going to come instead of you. But like I said, if you, if you don't trust me, I I can be you know, I, that's that's fine. We you know we don't. I can we don't, I can sit we, by. We barely we barely know either of you. Okay, well. Okay, so how I, do you guys want to play that's this? That then. I do. You, I, do you I want think to send them off? Contact the dragon as soon as possible. <laughs> like like you said, time is of the essence. Your your window right. will not. Uh, uh, your, your window won't, you know, won't last forever. Uh, but I, I don't want to impede you or, or to, you know, give you any reason to, to distrust me. I really don't have a stake in this one way or the other. 
All right. So do you do you want? Um, are you going to wander off? Are you staying with these guys because they're going to start making their way to the dragon. Hmm. Um, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't to me sound like they have as much of a plan to try and <laughs> confer with this dragon. To to be fair, they have the only plan that I've heard so far. I mean, they have, they have tribute. I mean, just to be like, just to remind you, like they have tribute. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, they have a goal of getting the yeah. dragon to leave here and go That's to Wyvern great. Tor. Right. Okay. Um, well, we're we're not going to stop them. Like I, I think let let them go. Either you know, either they get killed, or the dragon agrees with them, or the dragon go tells them to you know, stuff themselves. Um, let's. I I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat because I'm like in terms of my knowledge. Like I've, I feel like I've, other than like following and seeing where this goes which is what we could potentially do anyways. We could figure out and see what what happens when they get there if we were to follow them. And if we leave here, I'm pretty much going to tell the you know, I would I can't tell the group that now, but I would tell the group that when I get okay. back to them. All right. So, these guys are going to head up to the north. Uh, they're going to follow this trail. Um, where are you guys heading? Uh, I'm gonna defer to Cyrus because he doesn't. I don't. I'm just know. gonna sit under a tree and watch him. Watch him leave. <laughs> All right. So, so both of you move move to where you're gonna be, and these guys are gonna sort of like uh, wander into the night. All right. Oh, you're literally going to a tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna, you know, go go sit back on a tree, light up a pipe. Mm -hmm. um, so Nick, as you as you make your way to the tree, out of, you good out, luck. Of, out of your periphery, you see Favia sort of hidden, <laughs> he, hidden, hidden by the wall, right? Just sort of like itching to let loose her her arrows. Yes, and I, I just, I kind of like eye over to her, like, don't, like, wait, just wave them off. Yes, yeah. wave them off. So I'm gonna unclick. If you're okay with that, uh, DM, uh, mm -hmm. unclick her ready. Okay. Oh, wait. So, How do she's, I... so okay. she's no well, longer I... ready? Yeah, she's no longer ready. That that was that was what that was. <laughs> All right. So these guys head off up, up to the north. You notice that they're being, like, very um, careful. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, watching their step, they're avoiding, you know, you see them avoiding the house to the just to the north. Um, they kind of know this area and you should be seeing them disappear one by one. Mm -hmm. And they are, you know, you hear them making their way up. Up the path. And you guys find yourselves, you know, alone. Now, Mr. Bing Sort of from where you're perched, you can you can see open. You can sort of see them just up near the tower. You can sort of see this the town square, I think. Mm. Um, and you can see they've sort of gathered just to the just to the east of the tower. Um, haven't made a move quite yet. Um, probably a little nervous. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, I, I wave. I, I wave to them and wander off. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Let me get rid of this. Ah, boom. Okay. Is anyone gonna let the rest of your party know, or are they just to? Just, I'm gonna like, walk around to the like, like Fabia. You know, well, Fabia at this and point I knows. Should, and I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell Skyler. You know, just just so he knows that you know because that person potentially saw you last night <laughs> you know be careful what you you know they saw everyone but gonna... you nick they saw everyone but you <laughs> right well because okay i see was I, I i don't i don't remember was i there last night <laughs> No, no, you were you you showed up um, with the cultist. You spent you've spent the morning with the cultist. Oh, okay. 
You okay. said earning their trust, talking about the the, the forbidden knowledge, and um, right. You've not, you know, you don't trust them, so you've not you've not divulged much, right? Okay. But they seem pretty willing to have a conversation about things um, mm-hmm. because they're so motivated to sort of be in with this dragon, right? Um, but in terms of like just you know going back to the whole like trust, you know, I've you know as the group pretty much knows, like I've been told not to trust anyone. So, as you can see, you know, there was a cult spying on you guys last night. <laughs> sure. So, yes, we saw you know, that. yeah, that means that, you know, whatever I divulge to you, I also have to be careful about what I divulge to you in terms of the knowledge that I found and potentially the knowledge that we may find. Sure. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to fill in the group on, on basically what happened. Um, All right. They're, you know, they're they're wanting to move the dragon out to um, Wyvern Tor. You know, we shouldn't shouldn't stop them. Um, let's just let them do their thing. If they get eaten, they get eaten. Right. Um, and you know, if if they succeed, then Druid's happy, and we don't really have to do that. So, what do you want to do while while they're up doing this? I'm just listening for sounds of people being eaten. Well, how far north are we talking? Are we talking just like just up the road or are we talking quite the trek? It's what like would we be able to hear them get eaten? You, you'd be able to hear at? you'd be able to hear them being eaten. Okay. Um yeah. you won't About be able to make out what they're so. Yeah, you're not going to make out their probably their conversation. Right. Um all right, so someone's moving 25 feet. No, I was – I actually, I'm going to cancel that. Um, okay. I was just – I was measuring how far it was. It's about 200 feet or so. Okay. So, we, you know, was... if somebody's – you know, if there's fighting, we'll hear it. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I was fighting. thinking maybe if we can have somebody like, like a small group, like scout – to try and figure out if maybe they were not divulging some things to us and to me. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I... Roll an insight check, Nick. Insight? Okay. Insight, yeah. Uh... I mean, what are the what's the risk of going and checking out their keep or whatever, the uh, building... <laughs> Or at least to watch them get eaten. <laughs> All right, so I'll answer your question in a second, Noodle. Um, so, yeah, so your 16 is good enough to know, like, you, you've learned, like, they were pretty up, up front with you. Okay. Right? They're, they're, like, Fabric especially is super, you know, super motivated to right. um, you know, befriend this dragon and, and make this happen. Um, they they seem very guided by that. Okay. Yeah, based on your conversations, these guys are not fighters. These aren't people that want to fight with you. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, they're looking for e- any in they can to like, you know, um, make things work with this dragon. They shared. They shared their plans. You know, they have diamonds. <clears throat> Put those right? in the fridge. Um, they have. You know, they have diamonds for tribute. Um, they're hoping. You know, they're hoping to offer to transport what little treasure this dragon has to his new home they you know they have a potentially a new home for him to move to um there is that issue of orcs uh to to cyrus's you know um point um the dragon may be interested in you know clearing out the orcs um or who knows what he's been through right his backstory so th- that may be something that um from a tribute perspective he's going to want the cultists to do right but you know and so you're... these cultists are these guys separate from the dragon cult that i have now heard of or are they like a, a branch off, like a like a, a like a band of degenerate branch you, off? You of heard ru- you've heard you've heard rumors um, and you know uh, and and stories of of this dragon cult that um, um, you know really does like worship worship the dragons, right? And right. Um, um, would choose dragons over men, right? Okay. Um, uh, and your in was that you'd heard that there's sort of these these sort of new green cultists trying to sort of um, you know make a deal with this dragon, and right. you thought to yourself that they, you know they might be the right kind of people uh, 
Which is what led me to these guys. Which led you to them, yeah. Because yeah. they're not, like, these aren't your hardened, seasoned cult leaders, right? These are, these yeah, are it's a new... Like, these are green trying to prove themselves. These are like the right. teenagers of the cult, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're a little, you know, headstrong and sure of themselves. Um, but when push comes to shove, they're going to run like hell. Except right. for Fabric. Fabric will probably stand and be eaten. Right. He's going to fly in. <laughs> <laughs> Love me. Get Love me, us. dragon. I'm here for you. Yeah. I mean, Jump. <laughs> Cyrus, you're not you're not wrong. Like you've pieced together like like they do have a plan. Right. right. And yeah. it's 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 I'll like the, the shitty one. Yeah. It's like it's for a the, plan that like high school point. kids would come up with. Like, wouldn't it right. be cool if I <laughs> dropped in flying? Right. And the dragon will be like super impressed. And I'll bring these, you know, um, and he's clearly worked hard. And like he's thought yeah. he's he's thought this through. But like, you know, his brain's not firing at a seasoned level like no. this. He's 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 somewhat he's somewhat at a lot yeah right at now a logical again level. but he he is so um, vehement about you know an accord with this dragon that like you know you get the feeling that he's you know he's not going to go up and like piss a dragon off and get eaten right like he's probably going to have at least a marginal conversation so what yeah. what you you know what you guys hear you know so you've sort of, sort of hunkered down. Um, if any of you were injured, I'd say this would be a short rest. Um, and, um, you know, time passes kind of slowly. There's not much to see, not much to do. Um, you've got that herbalist place, you know, up to the north, right? You, you, you still smell the herbs and smells a bit like, you know, grandma's house. What with the, the rosemary and the, you know, uh, the lavender, right? The thyme. Yeah. It's like a bad bathroom spray. Um, <laughs> you, you, visions of doilies dance through your head. Yeah. Um, uh, but so you hear, you know, you, you've, you've heard that you hear the dragon stir and, and, um, huff and puff. Um, you don't hear any killing. You don't hear any screaming. Um, you don't see the dragon leave though. Right. So, um, you know, but you, you definitely hear what sounds like, I don't know, for lack of a better description, a conversation. Wow. So, you know, they, they've, they've, they've clearly, they've, they've clearly, communicating with this dragon they're talking to this dragon um but you know what you know of dragons is they're they're cruel right like you know um as cocky as these these cultists are this dragon has been you know he's here probably not because he wanted to be well right? and another thing that i'm thinking too is that you know it was here against its will and in a place that it like doesn't have a whole lot of sustenance so it's probably weak well, so I think even if... I think what you learned from the the the, the cultists is it's it's here against its will, right? right? It didn't. It's it's sort of here because it doesn't have anywhere else to go, and right. it's just not welcome where it was at. All right. So, um, you know, the, this this conversation, you know, this or whatever's happening up there is happening. Um, it's not the it's not the murdering that you expected. Yeah. Um. So well, this will be a moment when I'll say, OK, you know, are you going to wait for the cultists to come back or do you want to um, do anything, go anywhere or just sort of well, bide some more time? How late are we going to run here? Yeah. Well, I'm like, that was my whatever you said was going to be my and that's where we'll pick up next. Week. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's 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 wait around and see what happens. That's... OK. Yeah. Hey. I, I don't know if if anyone if if anyone has any any other ideas I'm I'm open to it but I was basically just thinking yeah let's let them you know do our work for us uh and if if they can't uh if they can't persuade the dragon I doubt that we will be able to and I yeah. really don't want to fight it and they were I feel like they were able to they were willing to tell me as much as they did mm -hmm. so which would pretty much help me in my knowledge quest as well, so maybe I'll be able to. Why right, is so... there a cultist <laughs> showing so, up? So as you know, as you guys are are sort of um, taking stock of your day, um, coulda and and shoulda sort of wander wander into this area. You've been hanging out by this abandoned house, and you know, shoulda's like you know, I, I, I knew you weren't alone. You know, you know, Sorry. right. 
what, why, why, I just why didn't want to be intimidating. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Look, you know, that's between you and 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 Favric. You know, Favric. Um, you know, he, he's back at the he's back at the, uh, you know, at at the house, and and says, you know, he has he has How did news. It go? It, you know, I, I was off on the side, and from you know, from what I understand, it went well enough. You know, um, good. He, you know. He's not our best friend, but um, we've made progress. And and, and Favrik wants to speak of you if you're still if you're still up for it. Like you know, between you and I, I don't completely trust you because you've been lying to me. But you know, Favrik, you know, Favrik's he's the one in charge. I I don't know. Should we just leave? <laughs> what do you guys Good. think? Some action. <laughs> hmm. I- I mean, if they want to talk, still. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Gonna, they're, so I don't they're, know. we don't. We're not going to find out what they did, right? Not unless you but want. But they to. still think Nick is um, not one of us, right? right? So he could actually get intel. Yeah. If we just kind of headed back a little bit, like, oh, sorry, he caught us. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. I mean, because basically, you know, we we uh, we we have an interest in the dragon leaving too, but you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, then, I, and with I, that, I don't want to. Im- I don't want to interfere with your efforts. Right. And and could a you know could have just sort of sh- like shoulders um, uh, should a aside and says, look, you know, um, Favric, you know, Favric wants you to help with Wyvern Tor. Uh, right. Um, so you know, come no. you know, come back to the home. <sighs> um, you know, it looks, from what I understand, the deal is like you know we need to make we need to make uh, you know the the uh, the current orcs camp um, a, a little bit more livable for the dragon, and then it will consider um, you know you know leaving leaving Thunder Tree. Um, uh, but between you and I, I don't know that I trust the dragon. But you know again, I you know that's you know, Favric. I I'll follow Favric. Favric's in charge, so you know he can give you more details. He's back at the home. And with that, I think we call it a night. Why did you say no, Cyrus? Or did, or you... We don't want to have to go do like an orc oh, cleanup mission. Yeah, right. For, you know, who knows what. I, right. You know, I, yeah. We've, we've got other things to do. And it's not, like, and we're just here kind of like for, like, at least in, in my situation anyways, like I'm kind of here for like, like a knowledge thing yeah. to try and gain more from this random path that I've been thrust into kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Other than like the path that I've been on with you guys. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we were just looking to do a favor for the Druid. I don't think we have any strong attachment to whatever, you know, whatever the dragon really wants to do. So. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and with that, you know, coulda and should are like, you know, We'll, we'll let Fabric know that you're uninterested. Yep. And um, right. good. And heads, good luck. Yeah, and sort of makes their way. You know, they're like, you know, avoid, you know, avoid the south, avoid the west, avoid the east, and definitely avoid the north. But good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you guys find yourselves alone. Not having enjoyed any of my extensions, all the work I put into it over the last week. <laughs> Not a single roll, you guys. My goodness. Um, no, it's all good. Um, well, with everyone... every good with every good story, there needs to be a couple episodes of exposition. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I, Remember, I like on the Walking Dead, the where they spent the, the entire Dead. season at the at the farm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, right. thing, things I have not watched. Um, Walking Dead. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh. Game of Thrones. Ugh. Stranger Things. Although I did watch uh, the first season. Oh Tom, you need to watch oh, Stranger God, Things. Man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm on season. Oh, I have to watch, uh, oh West. I got I got to season like three of Westworld and then like Lost Interest. Ah, uh, well that's they pretty much where they left off. Yet yet I, every year I watch all of the Star Trek. <laughs> series every single one for like from the very first star trek to the most recent yep. i watched the entire run every year uh-huh. in order 
So I'm right. I'm Me on too. Season, yeah. yeah, season two of the original series. I can't wait to get to Next Generation, you guys. I'm um, at Deep Space Nine, about it, season three. Are you on my Plex? Um, I like no. these. I, I think it was underrated. Yeah, yeah. I, I like them all. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I have I have every one of them on Plex. So I watch the run, and then every other year I watch uh, Buffy, and then the opposite years I watch Angel. So stuff. You're, you're a busy man, Tom. That's cringe. <laughs> I have. Well, why, why do they even need to make more TV? You just have a life supply right there. <laughs> I mean, to be yeah, honestly, um, you know, I, I, I try to find stuff to watch with my son, right? So we watched the entire run of Seinfeld, and now we're watching. Uh, we watched the entire run of News Radio. And nice. now we're watching the entire right. run of um, uh, Parks Taxi? and Rec. No, Parks and Rec. <laughs> Parks and oh, Rec. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah Parks not and Rec. Not the Office. Right. Uh, not yet. Yeah. I don't think he's ready for the Office yet. I think <laughs> well, definitely not ready he, for the British he? Office. Not yet. Oh. So you know, I was I was really excited because I was going to get to you know when you guys went into battle, I'll get to play some stuff like this. But that never happened. You guys can't hear that, can you? No. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works. I shut down my thing though, so that's why. No, like, I, I'm, I'm, I have not, and it's. I'm glad uh, you shut yeah, down that I... thing. All right, guys. Um, as always, it's been fun. Uh, we'll pick up next. Oh, I do need to know. Um, what do you plan on doing next? So you're you guys want to go to Cragmaw? Yeah. Yeah. I. Oh man. See, I'm well, torn now. Do we have to go to? What did he say? This. Wyvern tour? No, cool. that's that's the place where they want the dragon to go. We've not been there though. Like we didn't, you didn't Correct. go. Okay. No. We got enough to do. So right. I can give you, I can give you a quick. Here's the things that you've that you know that you may not remember that you know. Um, if that would help. Um. First, there was in Thunder Tree, in one of these buildings. Um. Uh. Somebody, um, who was it? Uh, oh, Mirna Dendar, right? You met her like she was in the prison. She said, if you, you know, when you're in Thunder Tree, she has some family heirlooms are here. Like that was just a little side hustle, right? Not a big deal. Um, in, um, there was the old owl well. Uh, Darren Edermath said that, you know, there's something lurking out of this well. Um, not, this, it sounds like that's a side quest, not necessarily connected to Kragmaw. Um, ironically, the Orc Trouble and the Wyvern Tor, um, these have come together. The cultists are interested in, in cleaning it out. And the town master, um, Harbin Wester, you know, wanted you to sort of seek out and deal with the encampment. That was a, an early on quest that you, that, that you guys possibly had. Kragmaw Castle, as you know, that's where uh, Sildar Hallwinter wants the characters to find this castle and search for Gundren Rockseeker. Right, you, they want him to rescue him, um, mm-hmm. um, and they. And, you know, interestingly, they want he wants you to rescue him. But he definitely wants you to retrieve his map, right? And that's you know to get you guys to um, uh, uh, the cave, uh, Wave Echo Cave, right? And uh, you know the Wave Echo Cave is, a, is is sort of where things might come together. So like that's that, that's sort of what you of all of the things that you've discovered. That's what you know and what you have left. So what I'm hearing is for the next for the next run, your goal will be to go to Cragmaw Castle. Will that be via town, or will that be from here? How, how much steal, difference I is there? Feel that guy's flying uh, post and fly. Um, you know, well, I mean, like the we'll we'll just assume that the you know the druid said he'd share this knowledge with you, <laughs> right? Um, um, uh, and it's half of this, you know, like it, really the only reason to go back to town is if you want to restock. I've done nothing. I, I don't think we have. I don't know. Does anybody need to restock? No, nope. I don't. I don't yeah, know if I may perfect. need to or not. I. <laughs> I I might. I I haven't looked, but. Well, you can look. Uh, I think Nick. Okay. You know, Nick should be. You should be all stocked up from having. You know, been at university, and then oh, just yeah, all, all, all you've done is you've you've had brunch with some cultists. Yeah. You know. You know. <laughs> regrouped with your friends and um, you know skirted skirted a dragon. Right. Awesome. So on okay. that note, well, um, I, I will assume that the next time we meet, you guys will be en route. To Cragmaw Castle. And then, yes, um, Nick, we can talk afterwards. All right. All right, guys. 
Well, thank you. Excellent. Um, this was a weird session. I I, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was... Well, so this is we need to like so next time somebody else needs to take the lead because the the thing that I don't like about like doing the lead stuff is like you know everyone else is just kind of sitting around. Mm -hmm. uh, so so oh, we yeah, need to, we need to pass that around. I I don't want to yeah. be the the one who's you know yeah. Well, I think I think you know think really hard before you guys separate. Yeah, well, because it it the, I think another thing is like uh, because of like how we're all kind of differently wired is that the situation could could definitely have gone very differently because I feel like um uh uh what, who am I thinking of here uh Skylar you're very much like guns a blazing <laughs> and i feel like i no feel like more, it, no one's more guns a blazing than karen that or, kind yeah, of, or, yeah. or karen yeah I mean, yeah as, as a whole that the party is kind of a, a group of murder hobos <laughs> like <laughs> let's let's like, be honest <laughs> the one the one thing i do remember very vividly was when uh karen uh unbeknownst to him uh Her. came through a secret entrance that ended uh, in somebody's office. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. any sort of like diplomatic relations were of. <laughs> it fell apart immediately. Yeah. 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 That's a that... entry of a half orc. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sent your orc in to negotiate with the. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was so much knowledge right there. You have no idea all the stuff you guys were um, so it's, and I think that's like one of the, and I think it kind of adds to, you know, the the uh, to the fun of it a little bit when I'm, yeah. I guess I'm pretty much concurring with with Mark. Yeah, uh, I mean, that, like to be fair, you guys did um, you guys did two hours, which is a long session of all talking and narrative. Of my, my, <laughs> yeah. my voice is 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 hoarse. I'm like, man, that's a lot of talking, and. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I don't wish this episode on anyone. So, I mean, it was interesting, and I think you guys have made a lot of progress. But like, you guys skirted like five different battles, right? Oh, <laughs> so, wow! So, you guys were the let's go kill them all and like punch them in the face, and now you guys are like the let's tippy toe around everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge, like, well, this is this was also a, a reality for like a reality uh, avoidance of me potentially getting thrashed by my significant other because I killed her familiar. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I kind of I I wanted to kill Zippy. I, I wanted to kill Zippy playing, so you had to explain that. I was, <laughs> I was playing Zippy very conservatively. <laughs> oh, can I make a suggestion? Um, can yes. I, when, when, when we hang up and you go talk to Alicia, yes. you say, I've got, I'm so sorry. I've got some really <laughs> bad news. And I'm, I'm, I'm just going to text her I'm so sorry. Be nice to Nick, and I'm not going to respond to anything that she says. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm in agreement. Yes. Okay, <laughs> guys. How how does this turning what like what does this turning out well look like to you? <laughs> what? Well, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> like, well, I'm, I'm like I six hours. I'm six hours. Off. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't dare kill. Well, I mean, if Zippy dies, he he dies on his own. But um, right. yeah, I'm not going to purposely <laughs> kill Zippy. Um, anyway, like let's 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 end this. It's getting late. I've got another meeting right. to go to. Um, thank you guys Thanks for playing, everybody. All right. um, I guess Bye I guess everyone. you guys are going to make your way to the to Cragmaw next time. Yes. Talk to you soon. Yeah. See you guys. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Right. Mm -hmm.